Hello and welcome to the Oxcast Guide to the Omnitron Council. This boss consists of four golems with different abilities. It's random which one you'll get first, but we got Electron. He has two abilities, which mean you need to spread out. Chain Lightning, which increases its damage per jump, and Lightning Conductor, which is a debuff that makes people explode, so you need to move away from them. Soon, a second ad will activate. You can tell which one's activating by the orange beam being beamed to them. Here, Magnetron is being activated at the back and picked up by our second tank. When one of the Trons becomes activated, the one which is currently up will shield himself. They all have different shields, and Electron's shield causes a nasty AoE if anyone hits him, so make sure you don't do this. Magmatron's abilities are Acquiring Target, which is very difficult to see here, but you might be able to see it later. It's a red beam that he targets on a specific raid member and hits them very, very hard. In addition, he has an ability called Incineration, which AoEs the raid, which isn't too bad on its own, but in combination with some of the hard-hitting abilities of some of the other ones, it can be a killer. So here, Electron, who was up at the start, has run out of energy, and he is replaced by Arcanatron, the purple one. In response, Magmatron throws up his shield, so this encourages everyone to switch to the newly activated mob. His shield is called Barrier, and it's a 150k damage shield that will kill everyone in the region if it gets broken. Arcanatron's abilities are fairly straightforward. First of all, he puts these vortexes beneath him, and you need to drag him out of them, or else he will get a significant damage buff. As you may see here, he hits me for 70k with an arcane bolt because he was standing in his vortex. The idea is to drag him just out of the vortex and have your melee DPS standing in it so they can hit him nice and hard. In addition, your casters and healers may also want to stand in this, but it's a bit dangerous if there's a mob doing, for example, chain lightning, so be careful. The last, and arguably most dangerous boss, is Toxitron. He has two abilities, a poison gas cloud which increases the damage taken by anyone who stands in it, including bosses, by 50%. And the most dangerous ability, he will summon slimes. These are walking bombs that will pick a target, run towards them and explode. There's three of them, they move pretty quick, you need to target them and kill them very quickly. The danger is, is that they can target melee or perhaps the off tank, and therefore, you know, people will be unawares that they're coming. When he casts these, everyone who is meleeing him needs to run out quickly and everyone needs to focus hard on killing these quickly or else they will do a lot of damage. So here our Canatron is shutting down and we're getting Electron, so the cycle has begun again. Toxitron throws up his shield which is a poison soaked shell. This is an interesting ability and worth mentioning because there are several ways in this fight that you can increase your damage output and kill them quicker at a sort of high risk to you. One of these things is this poison soaked shell, so if you attack him, it actually gives you a stacking dot, which is really, really nasty, but it makes your abilities hit a lot harder for the time that it's up. So if you've got very good healers or you're, or you're well over geared, you could you know, get a couple of stacks of it and hit harder at the risk of causing your healers to heal you more. There are other things similar to this that you can try and do to increase your damage. Clearly tagging him in the poison gas clouds is dangerous, it would mean that people who, who are standing in the gas cloud take more damage and are more likely to die, so you do have to be very careful of that. And also standing in the arcane vortexes that Arcanatron puts down will give you a very nice damage buff, but equally it's a bit dangerous because you might get killed by the AoEs. The other thing which I didn't mention was Arcanatron's shield. This is quite an interesting one because hitting his shield when his shield's up gives him a stacking buff which dramatically increases his damage. So he will start one-shotting people with his bolts if you, you know, hit his shield when you shouldn't. However, the buff that he gets is spell stealable. So if you're feeling cocky or confident, you could attack him when his shield is up and have your mage spell steal off the buff to get a very big damage bonus. Tanking the bosses of the gas clouds effectively and standing in the vortices are all very well and good, but the main thing to do in this fight is avoid the things that will kill you. There is a lot of damage being thrown around in this fight, and a lot of it is avoidable. Focusing quickly and hard on Toxitron slimes, using cooldowns to survive Magmatron, interrupting Arcanatron, and making sure people aren't too clumped up when Electron's around, reduce raid damage by an enormous amount. We pretty much ignored all of the damage bonus gimmicks, because we didn't really understand the fight too well, and we killed him 
in I think about eight and a half minutes. So there isn't really a big rush if your healers are intelligent with their mana usage. So that's about it for the strategy. Got anything to say, Simon? Basically, this is a fight that doesn't seem to relate to Nefarian or dragons in any way. And it's a bit strange that it's in Blackwing Descent. Uh, we'll just have a fight with some robots in the uh, the, 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 uh, the designer of raiding at Blizzard HQ said, "Do you know what this needs? Less dragons, more robots." <laughs> <laughs> I think that's exactly what happened. Everyone looked at him. Everyone looked at him as though he was crazy. He probably says that. They thought I was crazy <laughs> for, for putting robots in a dragon instance. <laughs> but who's laughing now? <laughs> turned into Tom Cruise. <laughs> oh god, yeah, I think he did. Oh god. It's a fantastic fight though, man, I really enjoyed it. See, so yeah, Omnitron's, he's not one robot, he's like four robots that um, have the powers of ice, no, and wind, no, and fire, yes, and earth, no, and heart, no! Fire! Wind! So there's there's poison. Poison, yes. I'm glad you remember poison. this fight so well that, you know... <laughs> I was doing quite well on, like, previous... We did actually get... I did get a kill of him. I did kill him on 10. Yeah, Lewis. this is the fight where you were in the raid. You killed him with me. Yeah. Oh, right, I did well. Did he post DPS? Because <laughs> I think I did really well. I was, like, second with <laughs> only two dungeons. Post DPS? No, I didn't, I don't think. I'll have a look, I'll see you at the end. <laughs> Damn it! Oh, oh, lovely. Well, thank you. So there's, there's, there's a poison robot. Yeah, okay. Well, there's a, an ice no, robot. No, there's no ice. There's a fire. There's no ice robot. <laughs> <laughs> there's a poison robot, there's a fire robot, there's an electricity robot. There you go. Ah. And there's another robot. That's right. Earth. No. Earth. No. This isn't a guessing game. 